Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install WordPress. Now, before we start, hurry up and check out his offer just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to install WordPress here, we first need to use a hosting or we need to get a hosting website. In this case, we'll be using Pantheon. Now, in this case, you want to go to their official website, which is going to pantheon.io, and you want to click on Get Started at the top right. Now, the great thing about Pantheon here is you can get started here for free. You just need to have an account. Let's go ahead and click on Continue with Google here. And from here, let's go ahead and choose our Google account. From here, let's go ahead and click on Continue to create our account here. Now, once your account is created, we should be able to see the next page here, which in this case is going to be our workspace. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to configure a few things, which in this case, we want to create another website. Now, for you to create a website here or install WordPress, what we need to do is we need to go to the left panel here, which is going to be sites. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the create new site at the top right of your screen. Now, in here, it's going to ask you what type of website we want to create. So you can create from Drupal. You could also create a custom upstream or you can use a front end site here. But in this case, we want to choose WordPress here. And once you've chosen that, it's going to load up a dashboard here, which in this case, you need to configure website. Now, in this case, you want to add your Pantheon site. So by default, your Pantheon site will be the following development URL. But in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be my name. And in this case, I want to say this is going to be site. Now from here, you could also choose your region here, but in this case, I'll be choosing this row here and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to actually check if your Pantheon site name is actually valid. Now, if there are any duplicate names, it's going to notify you. But in my case, it looks like it is acceptable and I'll be able to basically create my website. Now, it, this is going to basically start the creation process or in this case, it's going to boot up your WordPress website. Now, Creating and install WordPress here for your account is fairly easy with this platform, which in this case, everything will be the configured for me. So I won't have to do much here. So this might take a few minutes. So in this case, just wait for it to complete. Now, once the installation is complete, you can now visit your dashboard. Let's go and click on visit your Pantheon site dashboard here. And from here, it's going to show you the details and settings for your site. Now, in this case, we want to basically access our admin page. So in this case, you want to click on site admin, and it should actually open up the admin page for your WordPress website, initiate the WordPress setup. So first, you need to, you need to choose your language. Let's go and choose English and click on continue. And you want to add your site title, the username for your admin page, and the password for it. Now, you need to also provide the email. Now, from here on, you also might want to enable the following. In this case, uh, if you want to discourage search engines from index indexing the site itself. So in this case, let's go and provide all those details. Now from here, let's go and click on install WordPress. And from here, it should initiate the installation process. Now from here, it's going to, see, so going to say success. Let's go ahead and click on the login button here. Provide our username or email and our password. Now, once you've actually done that, it should redirect you to the WordPress website here. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and do whatever here. So if you want to customize your actual website, edit a few things and basically start building your website. Now, when you go back to your dashboard here, you should be able to change a few things like development mode here. And if you want to view the development site here, you can go and click on visit development site here. And this is what the default look of our website is going to be. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.